Okay. Uh, if how does I overcome the fitna online? That is, girls, boys, and messages during Ramadan. Use the me online media only for the purpose you want to use it. I I am on online because I do lots of my research, my studies, my lectures, everything. But if 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 even on the uh, you know some some of the courses which I study or do the research, the advertise pop up, and there's uh, you know things which I don't want to see. I I get the option, close it, and when I close it, they ask it what what is the reason, and I say it's irrelevant. That's all. You can avoid it. Nobody will force you. The with regards to the boys and girls and messages, why do you have to spend your time like that? Your life is short. Ramadan, you got Ramadan now. You may not get Ramadan next month, next year. So what can happen to you? So avoid it. Avoid it means uh, if you think that the person is texting you. Uh, something that is, you know, fitna. You text text them the Quranic verses, which speaks about iman, which speaks about, uh, you know, how to avoid the path of shaitan. You keep on doing that, and if the person really, you know, wants to change uh, himself or herself, will take it. Otherwise, that person himself or herself will block you. So that's the best way to avoid. Why the khata bohmul jahiluna kalu salama? When you see the ignorant people. You just say, Assalamu alaikum, peace be upon you and leave.